This is a tutorial on modeling a tulip. As always, start with photo reference. When I, when I looked at the tulip, and there's a lot of different tulips, this is kind of the look I was thinking of. And I noticed that uh, they seem to typically have these sort of three outside petals and maybe three on the inside. Uh, so really I need to just model one petal and then duplicate it and rotate it around, change the size a little bit. And I also, I also noticed that if you look at them from the bottom that they um, they kind of get narrow at the bottom and, and meet at the, the stem. So I thought I'd start this by uh, creating a polygon sphere. Um, F to frame selected, spacebar for hotbox, click in the center front view, F, uh, right mouse click, select face, carefully select half the faces, and delete. Right mouse click, object mode, select R for scale, kind of flatten that out a little bit and scale it in this way some. Just sort of adjust, you know, always looking back at your reference. And I can see that I wanted to kind of first get the sides look so, I mean, they don't, they don't kind of curve in quite so evenly like a sphere. They sort of stay a little bit more parallel and then pinch again at the bottom. So. Um, to help me with that, I'm going to go under the animation menu and choose Anim Deform Lattice. And this is just an easy way to make larger changes to your model. So I'm going to right mouse click on the lattice and choose Lattice Points and select these. And to move them out away from each other, I'll use the Scale tool, R for Scale. Kind of move those out, maybe move those down a bit. And similarly, I'll, we wanted to pinch at the bottom, so I'm going to narrow those in and move those down. And I could put more time into it and, you know, get a denser lattice. By the way, when you originally clayed the lattice, you can add more divisions, although you don't generally want to do that after you've made it. But I'm keeping this pretty rough to make it quick. So um, to keep those changes but remove the lattice, you can select the surface and choose Edit, Delete by Type, History. Um, I wanted to kind of curve the whole thing, and there's another nice tool in that same menu. If I go to Anim Deform, I need to show the full Deform menu here. And under Nonlinear, there's Bend. I'll close this. And so this is my bend handle. It's this, uh, this little green line here. It's easy to lose. You know, if you lose it, just find it again the outliner. Um, so with the bend handle selected, I'll click on the word bend one, and then click on the word curvature, and then middle mouse drag in my view. And you can see I can kind of curl it and it's starting to look a little bit more like a flower petal now. Um, So let's say I'm pretty happy with that. And again, to get rid of the bend handle, but uh, keep the changes, I'll delete history, edit, delete by type, history. Um, now I'd like to get the pivot point to exactly that bottom point. So I'm going to use Control and Alt and draw a little box that'll zoom in. Uh, hit W for Move Tool. Now I'm going to hold down the D and V keys simultaneously and middle mouse drag and it should just snap to that little point right there. So I can see I have my pivot point at the bottom and then I'm going to move the whole thing to the origin by holding down X and then middle mouse dragging. So now I have my flower petal at the origin. I'm going to rotate it to kind of bend it open a little bit um, and uh, at this point I might decide to kind of rough it up a little bit. So um, first I'm going to freeze the transformations just to, you can see I have all these, you know, numbers in here. If I do modify freeze transformations, it sort of zeroes those out. 
and then uh, you know it's a little bit too perfect and maybe I kind of want to try to help round that out a little bit so I'm gonna right mouse click paint sculpt um, I'm gonna start with the push operation which is here change my max displacement to 0 0.05 uh, because of the size of that and you can see the the max displacement is represented by a little hard to see I'll make it bigger so you can see that arrow so that's per mouse click how much it can push and uh, clearly we don't want to push that much so that's why I changed it to 0 0.05 and if you look very closely, there's a very small black arrow there. It's a little hard to see. It's kind of inside the red thing. To change the size of the paint brush, that's that red circle, I hold down B and then click and drag left and right um, to change that. And then I can I can just sort of go in and you know maybe rough it up a little bit uh, so it's, it's not so perfect. Um, and maybe I want to switch to pull and I can kind of pull these out a bit to improve the shape at the bottom and you know and so it's it's you know if you'll notice these are they're not so perfectly shaped um, and but maybe that's a little bumpy now so maybe I'll go to the smooth and just sort of uh, smooth this out a bit um, like so something like that Okay, and obviously you can put more time into it. Okay, so there's a flower petal. Now it's just a question of duplicating it and moving it. So I'll do Control D for duplicating it. And because I've frozen transformations, I know that I want three of them. I know 360 degrees is a full rotation and a third of that is 120 degrees. So I'll just rotate it in Y 120 degrees. And there's the second pedal, control duplicate again, and I'll just do minus 120. And so those are the three outside ones. You know, maybe I want to open them a little bit more, and you know, they don't have to be sort of uh, mathematically perfect. In fact, it'll probably help if they're not mathematically perfect. So I'll duplicate this one again, R for scale, scale it down. Um, helps that the pivot points in that right place. Whoops. Um, something like that, maybe a little bigger. Uh, maybe a little, but maybe a little narrower, a little flatter. Anyways, you know, make some adjustments. Play around. Always go looking back at your reference. Seems like these are about as tall as the other ones, so maybe I. I can just scale it back to be at least almost as tall as the other ones, which is kind of smaller. And then once again, I'll, I'll uh, if I want, I can freeze transformations on this guy just to make it a little easier. Modify freeze transformations, Control D for duplicate, 120, and Control D again. Did that work? No. Sorry, Control D again, and then minus 120. I had clicked in the field there, which is why. Um, so that's um, kind of a quick and dirty tulip. You can, you know, maybe you want to do four on the outside. Maybe you want to add more of these on the inside. You know, always look at back at reference, but it gives you a few ideas of some tools you could do to quickly get going on a tulip. I think. I think the stem is sort of easy to do. You could start with a, you know, polygon cylinder. Um, you'd want to, you know, add a bunch of subdivision height uh, to get some detail. Maybe you'll use the bend tool again to bend it. But I think that's pretty easy. I think the main thing is getting this. I think when you're done, make sure you group it. You know, call it tulip head or something like that. And uh, that is a quick tutorial on creating.